Welcome to the Secret Alliance. Look who is joining me all the way from that top secret location out west. Hi, Danny. Hello, Jason. How are you? So, I'm great. Um, I'm in a secret location, which is my home. <laughs> You're not in sequester, Danny? Well, I am indeed in the Big Brother house. My likeness isn't there, but physically I'm not there. I'm there in spirit, but not in body. So here you have it. All right. So you just put the rumors to bed here. Yes. Danielle Reyes is not going into the Big Brother house for season 22. Although I'm wearing my glasses, I look like Clark Clint and Superman, <laughs> but this, I'm not in the house. Thank you very much. I Done. feel like when you put the glasses on, Danny, it was like, <laughs> got serious. When we would sit in the house and play cards. When and, I put the glasses on? You yeah, know you put the glasses on. <laughs> <laughs> this takes me back. And we because never played I can a card see game. You. We the, the never reason, played a card game. I don't think people played. understood that. We just strategized. I'd be like, oh, let me throw a card down. Let me throw a card I, down. We yeah. weren't playing a game. Not at all. We were playing the game. We were playing the game. The big <laughs> okay, so, game. Danny, I know people are disappointed about you not going back into the house this season. Can, can you just give everybody a little bit of insight on what your mindset was? And then, hey, we're going to hang out with you all summer here on The Secret Alliance as right. we talk to everybody week by week. Right. So, you guys, you know, when we, when most house guests played the game originally, they were just excited. They probably planned a lot of things, but we've all matured. We're not the same house guests that we were. <laughs> Oh my God, what, 18 years ago? Yeah, Danny, um, thank goodness I got rid of that goofy soul patch. That soul patch. <laughs> anyway. Oh. Or the and when cake. I see those pictures, I, that was my biggest regret of the season, not winning it. <laughs> it's the soul patch. <laughs> that oh my thing. God. Oh. That and the really good Greg Brady hairstyle that Julie oh, Chen yeah. called well, you that about. was just one week. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So, um, I mean, so basically, um, I could not make that decision to, to basically commit for three months. It just was not yeah. possible. Plus, the uncertainty was happening in our nation was just, it's a scary moment. So yeah. right now, Big Brother is one of the longest reality shows um, out there. A lot of people don't realize that's three months of your life that you're cut off from the world. And so I just, at this time, it was not a good place for myself to participate. Yeah. As much as I know you guys want it, I'm so sorry, but I had to think about me for once. And Danny... <laughs> I didn't even think I was going to be a question if people were going to wonder if I was going into the house this summer. I, I've been on television. I was here covering Hurricane Tropical Storm Isaias as yeah. it was moving into Florida on Sunday morning and this morning. Right. They um, just go, is there a hope? So, is yeah, there a hope? I'm, I'm, I'm on TV here in Orlando. Yeah, I'm, I'm a news guy these days. Um, so let's talk about the all-star season because this is going to be huge yes, yes. and big brother is teasing us too much and, and I, I will say this we didn't mean to tease you guys on social media so much we we tried to do this over the weekend and had some technical difficulties so then i posted another teaser video so we had audio difficulties that's why we put danny over my shoulder i don't know which side <laughs> they, they put you over yeah so it wasn't intentional um but we teased it a little more we apologize we don't want to do all that uh, but again danielle's not going into the big brother house not this time uh, although let me just tell you, my brother was questioning today. He was like, are you sure that this is not one of those scams that the other contestants are doing where they're putting the recipes out? And I mean, everybody is paranoid, Danny. The paranoia everybody. is running rampant and the season hasn't started. I think what's so funny is that the paranoia happens with the, the fans, right? But yeah. just the inside thing, the paranoia happens with all of the past house guests because they start texting each other. <laughs> And it's comical. I had to turn my uh, block a lot of people and turn my text off because I got tired of like, are you there? And I'm like, no, I'm not playing. And you're supposed to not be talking about it, even if you sign something. So it's, it's funny, <laughs> but, but no, I'm not in but the they're, house. They're setting up alliances and it's, they're going to go in and we're going to have some alliances. Um, but can I, it, that's can already just, happening. Can I give a secret to anyone that wants to play yeah. the game? Yeah. Are you guys listening? This is very important. Whatever plan that you have, Throw it out. That you're going to play the game. You finally do play. It's going to change. They're going to have so many twists and turns. It's no point of just go with the flow and deal with the cards that are played um, that are handed to you, basically. And that's the best advice, especially now with so many twists. I mean, Julie is going to say, expect the unexpected. And, right. And that's what this show is about. It's become filled with twists and turns. And it's how you navigate those. It doesn't matter the strategy it doesn't that matter. you came in with. Uh, right. But I will say social game is key. 
that is really, really important. Um, and then it's how you strategize week to week. And Danielle, I, I got to say, as your partner in season three, you were so good with reacting, strategizing, and figuring out what we needed to do to make sure that not just that week, both of us were protected, but the, right. the weeks to come. And that was, I thought, brilliant game and why right. I was so honored to play with you. Oh, no, same here. I mean, you were my hitman. You won the competitions. <laughs> I didn't win anything. <laughs> I was just you should have used the veto. Used and, the veto. I, and let me Ugh. just say this, to, to, so, if Marcellus happens to see this, I do right. apologize. I, I love this guy. I, right. I've seen him since then. I, I know there's, it's just tough in, in the game. Only one can win. And I was trying to be that person. And so right. uh, Marcellus, Mars love you so sorry it's just game and i hated being the executioner that night um right. but it, it was part of it and danielle brilliantly led you through feeling safe so you didn't use the veto and yeah, you know where difficult. that led you it's one of those ugly <laughs> okay. moments that we don't like to talk about it's like let's not talk about that well and, and i feel bad about that as as a human being right um, and and love everybody it's so uh, I will say Amy has not believed when I've told her you're not going into the house. That's been some of the, the funniest stuff. Amy, Amy. why are you watching this? She's not going in there. Okay, um, let's talk about the people you want to see in the All-Star season, Danielle, because we're not going to keep people too long on this first episode. Who would you like to see play this game again? Um, so, so let's talk about that. Quite frankly, one person that I actually would like to see play again because they never, they're never given the credit probably because you and I were both on that season with them. Um, and they are being, uh, you know, they were told they were writing coattails and they mm -hmm. kind of were in some, but they played the perfect game for their season, right? So yeah. I will always like to see her, Lisa Donahue. Yeah, play one let's more get time. Lisa back in there. Uh -huh. I would like to, just to see it, because I think uh, she played the perfect game for her to win. And I think she has a lot to prove, um, quite frankly, because of what, um, she had to play with us. So it was very difficult. And I think it's one of those things that people always hold against her, but I really would love to have see her play one more time just to see, yeah. curious to see how she would play this time around. Um, but you have the typical Janelle's in there. Um, uh, I Is this her like season to win it, Danny? Is this Janelle's season if she goes in? You know, I want to be surprised. Janelle may be the Boston Rob of Big Brother, where <laughs> it's going to take four times for her to finally, finally win. Because um, that's what happened with Boston Rob. It took about four times yeah. for him to finally, finally win. But All when right. Boston Rob did win, it was a perfect game. Where Janelle is going to have some struggles is she is a great competitor. She's a beast yeah. comp, right? You can't but beat she, her in competitions. You can't beat her. But... Where she struggled is, is her social game. And her social game, not so much um, with, in general, uh, where she has alliances, but she needs to work the social game, especially among females, because she's a big threat. And some women find her very intimidating because she's mm -hmm. very tall and statuesque. A lot of people don't know, uh, Janelle's pretty tall. So, you know, she can be quite intimidating. Um, but if you, where she needs to work on is her social game. Can she win the females over so they can yeah, and, and that's always the thing is we see like the guys team up and the girls team up. And if, yeah. if she game. Yeah, we see sometimes the, the guys and girls make alliances. And, and it, so can she lead that if she goes into the house again? Can she be the leader? So the thing yeah. is now Janelle is a mother of three now. So uh, it's going to be interesting. I hope, I'm praying to God that the women... The women look like, from what the, the rumors are, the women look pretty strong this season. And I think, yeah. especially the mothers, if you have a Danielle D Donato, a Janelle, even Davon, any of those house guests that are mothers, I hope they actually team up together and run the gamut. And I think women, if they just work together, I think they it could be done. But I've yeah. had people tell me they don't think women can do an all-girls alliance. And I actually had past house guests tell me, no, it can't be done. Well, let's see it this season. I want to see it this season. Uh, you mentioned Davon among the rumors, Bailey uh, among the rumors to go into the house. I met both of them last summer. They were here in Orlando for a charity event. Um, wishing them well. Mama Day was awesome to see. And, and I mean, both of them have been part of like these MTV challenges and all that stuff. They've got this huge fan base. People are rooting for them. No matter who walks into that house? This is right. going to be a big season of All Star, and then and the thing is with Davon, yeah, 
Right. And, and Davon, let's talk about Davon. Davon's super smart. She's oh, yeah. super smart, so intuitive. She, she figured out the twins. She knew Polly was related to Cody. She knew Vanessa's sister. I mean, she called it all out, right? So yeah. we just need her to use her knowledge better. Plus, she wasn't really good in competitions, but because she was on the challenge, Davon was a comp beast on MTV Challenge. So that Davon that you guys are accustomed to watching on Big Brother, uh, she ain't the same Davon, y'all. So she will right. take people out in competition <laughs> as well. Well, I'm looking for good things from Day. Um, I'll have to post some social media pictures and, and show some stuff when we met for a, a great charity here, Give Kids the World. They help kids who are on those Make-A-Wish trips and they come and they spend their time in Orlando before visiting the theme parks at this amazing resort and all kinds of big brother house guests and other reality show mm -hmm. folks came out and they did some real good here in Central Florida. A little, little love to Give Kids the World, that charity here. Um, okay, so let's talk you in the big brother house because you, you were sort of in the house because you're on the wall. H how did that all come about? And how did you find out? That's a great story, Danny. <laughs> on the wall. So, so what's so funny, um, I, I get a text from um, Derek. He goes, hey, listen, we're, we're, I guess we're in the house. And I, I'm like, what are you talking about? So he shows me a picture of the Merle of me doing the infamous devil horn. <laughs> And I that got you in a lot of trouble, Danny. Getting some recognition from after X amount of years. That, huh? It got you in what? trouble, Danny. What did you say? That got you in trouble. Yeah, it did. It cost me <laughs> probably a lot of votes from doing that. <laughs> you know, so um, <laughs> that's fine. Who cares, right? He was the devil. I don't care what you guys say. Anyway, so um, they put me on the wall, and I guess it shows my countdown, which I honestly didn't think they were showing my count that every week I thought they were gonna hold yeah. it, but it shows my uh, eight to go or something, what I used to always say weekly. Um, and it wasn't for me to be arrogant. It was just for me to keep focus on the common goal was get to the end. So that's what I would do every week, count it down. Okay, so uh, Danny, there are some uh, things that sort of tie into what we're doing here. There are ring lights and umbrella lights and cameras on the walls in this big brother house. Uh, do you think they're going to allow these house guests in some way to reach out and connect with fans in a way we haven't seen before? Well, you know, with, with CBS and, and um, Allison crew expect the unexpected, right? So um, because everyone, it's going to be a new um, reality for this season because this is the first time where there's really no new new TV. So I, I suspect Big Brother is going to have great ratings and more fan interaction than usual. So they probably have us, you know, pick a couple America's players or decide who we don't like and put them on slop. It's going to be fun. I think we <laughs> should decide who goes on slop, quite frankly. That would be deliciously wicked. Love it. <laughs> if we could do that. <laughs> Um, uh, let's also talk about Danny, um, because you, you just, you mentioned something that I thought was really, um, an interesting point. This is going to be so strange because everywhere we go now, we're wearing masks, we're hand sanitizing, we're staying six feet apart. There are people I, I used to give a hug to, it was no big deal. And now we're not doing any of that. We're, we're sort of living this strange life. So when they walk in here, they've been, what we've told, been told is in sequester, they've had. COVID-19 test so they can go in and they can hug and they can cuddle up in beds together like they're all all good in this bubble right well yeah well most of the house guests that they think are potential house guests most of them are in committed relationships so I hope they stay in committed relationships um <laughs> just saying um but um <laughs> Um, but when this season is going to be quite unique, because I think the reason why they prolonged the announcement, because they probably had to do last minute testing at the very last minute to see who's cleared to go back in the house. So I would suspect that there's probably a lot of house guests that are probably plan B's waiting to see if they're going to be the alternate basically, but to see them to commute, to hug. Um, where it's going to be quite interesting because even, I don't know about you, but when I watch commercials and they're hugging, I'm like, oh, you know, yeah. you get that end, you know, like, oh my God, yeah. they're touching. Their yeah, it gives, you, it gives you almost anxiety, but they can yeah. live the way we did before this whole pandemic being inside right. that bubble. It's going to be fun to watch. Okay, Danny, we got to get to some questions before we wrap this up. 
All right. Uh, who is your favorite winner? We had that question asked to us from Theater Book Kid on Instagram. My favorite. Who's your favorite winner? All time winner? Yeah. It's Ian. I, I, I don't care really? what anyone says. I, I loved Ian. Ian's like one of my favorite winners because um, he was nerdy. So I picked him to win before even it was like my call. But what I liked about Ian was he was so awkwardly um, funny and socially awkward that you kind of liked him. But there were times when he would just pump up and start like that fight he had with Frank with the Papa squat comment and where he was praying, where he had to win that one HOH because you knew he was gone and he came through. And what I loved about Ian was he was so, even though you think he's a pushover, he really wasn't. So no. when him and Dan were doing the final Q and A, he basically, one thing I wish I would have done, which he did, he turned to Dan, he said, he's a bold faced liar. I didn't do any of that. He's a big yeah. liar. And I love that about him. And I think a lot of people always say Dan was robbed, but Ian played that perfect game because he didn't piss enough people off to win that. So I like Ian, Ian's my favorite. I don't care what anyone says, I'll fight you. <laughs> I, I like Derek. I thought he did such a good job he is. through the whole game playing it. He right. never he never really let on what he was doing. He did a good job of getting other people to do his dirty work and make it think like that was their idea. It was, well, the, it was uh, great to and watch. And the other thing about Derek, a lot of people don't realize that you and I, Jason, hold the record to make it to the finals three without yeah. ever being nominated. He's the only never. never being. But Derek's so unique. Derek made it and won, never got nominated. However, there was four times for him to get nominated. Remember that season? Yeah. Remember they yeah. had the, the block or whatever they call it, the stupid yeah. block party. And <laughs> you got like three or four times. You're like, I'm saved. You're like, no, we got no. more nominations. So he made it all the way without ever getting nominated and taking home the prize. That's pretty, that's pretty impressive. I don't care. It really that. is. Okay. So Danny, fans are going to be asking us questions through the season. We're going to try to get to as much of that. That's what we're going to spend some time doing the next time we get together. Last thing, and we're not even going to say why, but I just want to name here, Danny. Katie A. Kirk on TikTok wants to know who you think is the best big brother player to never win. I'm going first. I think it's you, Danny. Oh, thanks. Stop. Um, and you can't say me because that's not true. <laughs> <laughs> that's not true. Because <laughs> the Mari Povich lie detector would tell us that is a lie. That is a lie. Well, Jason, I always felt that if you made it to the final, you were going to win. And you played yeah. the perfect game, socially, competitively. But I lost the competition, final three, and then I'm out. So yeah. social, social doesn't matter if you're not winning the final competition. So the best player to never, ever win will have to be, I don't know. I don't know. I have to get back to you on that. Okay. One. Well, th hey, that's what we'll answer next week. <laughs> that's what know. you call a teaser. That's uh, a teaser. Stay tuned. Uh, okay. So we're going to take a look at all the players once we find out who is in this season after Wednesday night's episode. Don't miss it. And Big I will give you my, I will give you my prediction. I will put in an envelope and we'll close it. How about that, Jason? Oh, I like that. Mm -hmm. And and I will, I'll let you know, and you can let me know, or or we'll give somebody just so that we can't change it throughout the season. But we'll yeah. we'll let uh, let my brother know who we've picked yeah. as the winner of the season. We'll see when that gets blown out. I'm I'm terrible at predicting this stuff, Danielle. Before we go, the last thing here, and we're gonna run out of time. Here we the the question I always get asked is, did you believe Danielle was? true to the end would she have remained true if if we made it all the way final two or if you won that third competition uh final round and and i said absolutely it was never, never ever a, a question in my mind yeah I no doubt i did not we care. were ride or die ride or die i didn't care if, it was just it was you ha it's just we had to make it to the final two and i just felt like i was there to make sure you get there and you were there to make sure i got there and it was so yeah. disappointing that we didn't do it but it, there was no doubt I didn't care. Yeah, we're we were in it. next to me. And I wanted yeah, to say, wa hey, gotcha. I wanted want to talk so much, Mac. I'm so glad okay, it didn't so happen. <laughs> question, we're not in the Big Brother house, obviously. <laughs> I right, wasn't right. a question, you were. Right. Um, would you go back and host a comp? Yes or no? Oh yeah, absolutely. All right. Absolutely. Okay, so maybe maybe they'll ask us. They've never asked me. They can't, never been Jason. asked. <laughs> we're, in, we're coronavirus. They, have, they, got the, they got the coronavirus. You don't uh, want that yeah, crap. They can't have us come back. You're right, you're right. We it's can out. zoom it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. We'll zoom it. All right. I, I love it. Danny, we've now brought everybody else into the Secret Alliance. We're going to do this week after week. This was a blast. Bye, my friend. Love you, Bye. Danny. Thanks for joining us, guys. Bye. Bye.